Indian Space Research Organization has now successfully launched its smallest commercial rocket launch vehicle and has also put two satellites into their orbits successfully. Now, the mission marks India's presence in the small satellite launch market. The 34-meter small satellite launch vehicle is capable of carrying payloads of up to 500 kilograms into a 500-kilometer orbit. Now, the SSLV D1, which took off from the Satish Dhawan Space Center in the south southern state of Andhra Pradesh has placed into orbit the 145 kilogram the Earth Observation 2 satellite and also the Azadi satellite. But what makes this launch very interesting is the fact that the Azadi sat has been designed by students, most of them girls, from government schools across the country. And with this, it also marks the 75th anniversary of India's independence which of course is on the 15th of August this in in this month the satellite has 75 different payloads each weighing about 50 grams and conducting femto experiments now these payloads were built by students from rural regions across the country the payloads are integrated by the student team of Space Kids India an aerospace company the firm has said that this is the first of its kind space mission with an all-women concept and promotes the idea of encouraging women in science, technology, engineering and mathematics sectors. And my colleague Siddharth has been tracking the story pretty closely for us and has sent us this report. Take a look. The launch of the small satellite launch vehicle marks the new beginning and a new era in Indian commercial space flight, particularly because this is the fourth rocket in India's uh, arsenal. And earlier, India has been using the PSLV and GSLV series of rockets. And now the SSLV has joined this series of rockets. And uh, we'll have to just keep in mind that uh, it's a majestic launch that you can see here from Sri Arikota. The SSLV vehicle just lifting off and then making that right curve slightly uh, in terms of inclination. SSLV is a significant rocket because ISRO pins a lot of hope on this vehicle, primarily because of its potential as a commercial launch vehicle, a dedicated commercial launch vehicle. In fact, the SSLV is a rocket that can be assembled in as less as one week. Of course, the manufacturing takes a couple of months, but once it's ready, it can be assembled in a week and this is, you know, far, far better and faster when compared to the larger rockets such as PSLV and GSLV which are much more complex and uh, which take time to assemble. It takes at least months to assemble those rockets and the SSLV is a low cost vehicle uh, roughly about 50 crores per launch and at this uh, cost it means that there can be a lot of foreign customers and Indian customers be it startups or academia who can benefit from this rocket they can pay ISRO's commercial arm and they can get their satellites orbited using this vehicle more significantly ISRO's chairman had earlier told Vion that uh, SSLV is a rocket with not so exotic materials it's very simple engineering it uses only solid fuels there's not too many complex technological uh, parts and you know components in this rocket which means even the smallest of Indian industries can make this rocket and they can very soon be able to assemble and even launch it and over, over all of this it's important to remember the fact that SSLV is the fourth rocket in India's arsenal and the successful flight of SSLV will mean that there is a new vehicle in India that can be assembled in one week and deployed for launch immediately and this is going to be eye candy for foreign customers who are looking for a low cost launch option. From Sri Harikota, this is Siddharth MP with video journalist Praveen. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.